Good evening. See you again. This is Tina. How are you doing today? So this video we're gonna talk about how to display all the products in our page. Okay. So let's let me show you what we are trying to do now. Okay. This is what we stopped in previous video. <clears throat> Here have add a feature we can add into the uh, into our in memory in memory array successfully, right? Now, if I go to home page, I want I want here to display all my product information. Okay, so how to do that? What we gonna do? Yes, first check if this home page is already uh, using the MVC pattern. Let's go. And uh, we do I have a router? Oh, I don't have. Oh, uh, do I have a router? Yes, we do have router, right? Yes. Oh, it's here. It's this one. It's in shop.js, okay? This is a slash which is to rent, take care of this uh, home, these uh, requests, okay? Request, okay? And now we run the index.ejs and this is the name for this piece of information. Actually, we can hard code it, okay? Just to show you the dynamic content before. So the problem now is this part should be in the controller, right? And it's not, okay? So let's add a shop.js, okay? Which is the controller. By the way, I want to stop here a little bit. Uh, for the controller, you can organize like the way I organize the best on kind of like a role, which admin can uh, add a product. The for the, uh, for the regular user, they can only view the product. Okay, that's another way because for display all the products in homepage or add the product, they all belongs to product this model, right? So you can have a product controller, which is everything you put uh, related to products, you put in product.js. So it's your own choice to choose the way I'm doing now, or you put uh, everything, every router, okay, so every rendering related to pro product into a product controller, not like the way I'm doing, okay? So let's uh, resume back. <laughs> Resume. Go to the uh, shop. Yeah, yes. Okay. So this one is related to the shop. Of this router. I will copy this one, which is uh, exports dot uh, get all products. Okay. Equals this piece. Okay. And now here I have to use it. Okay. To use it, we have to require this. Uh, shop controller require and uh, using dot dot go to controller then slash go to shop controller okay and here we will do as before shop controller dot get all products okay now the question is here i have to get all the products right so how to get all the products how you just did you just did in the product.js product.js we have a find all method this find all method will return all the products so here in our oh sorry in our shop js controller okay we can do is const products okay equals product but i didn't have product so we have to require Past product the, that class okay is to require. Let me split to the right. Okay, this one is to require this product, so I can call this method. Require. Okay. This one, which is go back to 
then go to model, then go to product dot js. Okay, so here I can using product dot get all. I'll find all. Find all method here. And now, how can I pass data, which is uh, the products here, into our index.ejs? How to? Like this one you did. Okay. This one, we give a key, any key you want. Suppose I call this one. And what's the value? The value is this one. Okay. Now, the remaining thing we can we have to do now is to render these products into our page. Okay, render because it's dynamic content. How would you render here? How to do that? Let me close this one because this one have like indented too much. Okay, too deep. Oh, not EJ, not add a product. It should go to index.js, right? Which is the home page, which is this page, right? This page, okay. So we have to go to index.js. See, take a look at here. They say index, okay. So we go to index, okay. And uh, we need to loop on this piece of information, okay. Loop on this one. How do you loop? Use the syntax provided by uh, in EJS. So how to do loop? Just uh, write your regular JavaScript code inside this two percentage, this thing, okay? For let p, okay, of, we just do a loop. What's the key? Products, okay? And we close, and we have opening tag, and bef between the opening and here, we have a closing tag here. Yeah, sorry. Between the open tag and the closing tag, this piece of information is gonna be repeated. Got it? And now, what I'm trying to do now is I uh, why to do like this way? Okay, 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 fine, fine. What I'm trying to do now is replace these things with the real data, right? So here I have two using. I have to use product image. Do you remember inside our product JS? I have an image URL here, right? Which is this one actually. This one. Image URL. So here we're using product.image URL. And what is represented product? This is the product that array. And this P represents each product in the array. So here we are using p.image URL. This image you are has to be the uh, fields inside your product, which is everything after this. This, this title it means this value. Okay, we should using this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. Next item one here we are using item one. We're using title. Okay, so I was gonna just copy this one, and here, and this is gonna be title. Okay. And uh, this is gonna be our price, okay? This is gonna be our price, okay? And uh, this piece of information gonna be our description. Got it? And now we are done this uh, uh, controller and we are done this view. So let's test. If we can, <coughs> let's test if we can see the products we added, okay? Let's go to the browser, add some products, okay? So we go here and go to add a product. We go to the bottom and add the first price, price 12. Image URL, this one. Description is good, okay? Submit, save successfully. So we go back to the home page e, let's scroll down did you see everything works now right this is the image okay and this is the title i add this is the price this is the description okay let's add another one okay so we can see it has a loop 
uh, let on uh, next week next no 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 angular <laughs> price like a 33 okay image URL let me download another image okay let me download another uh, this one looks nice okay turtle okay and uh, why is turtle this one this is too big I only need this size let's see this one why is it, why is this place uh, seems not suitable for me okay uh, this one this one okay let's see this side copy image address okay Um, I uh, seem I couldn't find a good one. Uh. Uh, 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 let's see this one. Okay, uh, this is gonna be a last try. Otherwise, I'm gonna using the same one. Okay, uh, this seems uh, not good. Why? 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 This one. Okay. This is not the size. I'm not sure because. Uh, uh, copy image address. I'm not sure if I add it's gonna broke our style. I think it's gonna probably it's gonna broke our style. Let's let's try. It's gonna be in the memory. Okay, for sure time. Very good course. Okay. Meet successfully. Go back and see. Go go. Oh, didn't it broke? Ah, it's very good. Okay. So now we have uh, two. Uh, what's the two products added okay so the next step i'm trying to do is here after we add the product okay let's do another one okay let's do another one since that broke we're just using anything this is where this is like a british okay this is like british copy image okay okay, okay. Uh, this is like a, is that a bridge okay okay Let's go here and go here. Title, uh, B R D G bridge price, very very expensive. Okay, and then here go here and uh, uh, okay, foggy. Okay, okay, save successfully. And uh, oh, what we are doing when we click click this uh, submit, it shouldn't display this one. It should display to the home page okay what we are trying to do is well, after we add successfully it redirect us to this page so i can see all the products are added so this is a change so now uh what we are trying to do okay so we have to find where it is uh, posted right <coughs> it's gonna be in our admin okay so here we're using send successfully. Instead of doing that, we are gonna do is res dot redirect to slash. Okay, let me remove this one. There's no need anymore. Okay, let me remove this one. Okay, there's no need anymore. We redirect and uh, then we can remove all others, the console log. So let's take a look at first I have to show you the home page. Home page you will see no products because we are in memory, okay? Every time I change the code here, the node moon will restart my application. And after restart the application, everything is gone. So we have to add it again, okay? Add a product, go to title, knowledge.js, the price is 10, image URL, the first one, and the good okay ah, it redirect and show this thing right let's using the big one okay it show this one let's go do one more time title we go to angular price is yes, 33 image ui second one uh, great okay submit jump okay last one okay title bridge okay which is very expensive okay this one and uh, which is amazing okay submit and a loop okay so now uh, I think that's done for our exercise which is to display all the products in our home page 
Okay, and meanwhile, we did a redirect to this uh, home page to in order to see we actually add successfully. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And uh, the source code is in the description. Uh, I have a link, but uh, I keep uh, modifying on the existing. What should I say? the branch, which is the master branch. You can take a look at the check-in code if you want to see the other pieces, okay? So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.